Hey, what's up, guys? We're back with the seven episode. Um, so this is our new scene we made. Uh, basically, just I wanted to storm one and start frapsing. This is what I got. Uh, there's no walking down the street, I guess. Alright, so I also went in inside a model viewer and got this clip here. Swifty walking, doing the same. So we're gonna go ahead and add a, a key light effect right away. Get rid of the green. Like, there we go. And we're just gonna place Swifty where he belongs. Which should be right here. Let's scale it down a little bit. Okay, so today we're gonna start uh, learning something called motion using keyframes. So, go at the beginning of your clip, zero, zero, whatever it is, and you just click on. I'm gonna start by editing the position. So, click on P, and now you have to click on this uh, stopwatch here. So that's like that's what this does. It has a keyframe, and uh, a keyframe just tells the programs that at this point in time, which is the uh, beginning of the clip, we want Swifty's position to be right here. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, move this to three seconds, and just click and hold Swifty until he is across the screen, like this. So now you can go back and uh, play your clip, as you can see he's walking, and then you just make the adjustment. As you can see he's walking pretty fast. Um, we're gonna go at the beginning and just drag it a little bit to the right, like this. It's a little better but it needs some, uh, some improvement too. Um, I'm gonna take this last keyframe here. Uh, it's at 3 seconds and drag it to 4 seconds. Let's save the display again. Alright, this is fine. It's good. Okay, now as you can see, there is some uh, problem once you're at this point here. Because Swifty is like over the image. So, what we're gonna do today is we're gonna learn how to do some masking. And uh, how to do some masking. We're gonna first we're gonna duplicate the, the background layer. So here we have two background layer, and we're gonna take one, drag it on top of Swifty. Okay, now you shouldn't be able to see Swifty because uh, this background image is taking uh, the whole composition. So we're gonna start masking. Uh, first, start by renaming your comp or your clip mask. And we're gonna go in the mask tool. Okay, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna carefully click all around the thing with our mask tool, our pen tool. Now, as you can see here, it's gonna be messy if you don't do it uh, perfectly because there's some leaves and stuff. So just make sure you you take your time. Uh, I'm not gonna take my time because I'm recording and stuff, but you do it. Now that's what our mask looks like, just close it real quick. And there we go, we have Swifty behind the actual mask. Now I'm gonna show you how this works here. Uh, I'm gonna hide the background layer so you can, you can see. So the mask is like the background layer but uh, only this part so... 
And so here we go. We have Swifty walking behind the actual tree. Alright, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.